chapter 12. I want to continue this morning in this most practical chapter. Everything motivated by the mercies of God. We, being the recipient of those mercies, how are we to respond? What is our lives supposed to look like? What, what is our reasonable spiritual service of worship in response to the mercies of God? I want to read beginning at verse 9, and we'll read down to verse 21. Apostle Paul says, Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor. Not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, practicing hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not be haughty in mind, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in the sight of all men. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge. Beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. You know, brethren, I, uh, these instructions here really uh, need not a lot of explanation. You know, obviously, we, we can take these one at a time and all of these most practical in nature. And certainly, as we read this uh, list of qualities, we, we recognize the value in these things. You know, obviously, if these particular qualities were, were more prevalent, so many of our problems, they would just simply go away. You know, Paul talks much here about our relationship with one another. He instructs us to, to have a genuine love for one another, to be devoted to one another, um, to honor one another, to rejoice when, when, when brethren rejoice and weep, when, when brethren weep. He implores us to hospitality, the idea of love of strangers. He tells us to contribute to, to the needs of the saints as they rise. He, he tells us to be diligent. It's intense effort. To be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. He tells us to devote ourselves to prayer. You know, he brings the, to life the, the value and necessity of humility. Um, we've talked much about that already in our study. The idea of being of the same mind toward one another, not haughty in mind, but being willing to associate with the lowly, giving preference to one another. He, he tells us to do our part in doing what is right, regardless of, of, of others, to be at peace with others as much as is dependent on us, to abhor what is evil, to cling uh, to what is good, uh, not to take our own revenge, but uh, allow that for God. And even if our enemy is hungry, we, we're, we're defeating. If he's thirsty, we give him drink. Just do what is right, regardless of what others do. Be devoted to prayer, he says. Persevere in tribulation and hard things and hard times. There's a lot here. And as I said, I, I think these things truly speak for themselves. But I'm, I'm going to leave you with these things today. I hope you consider them. I hope you'll make them personal. How can you apply these things right here, right now, in your current situation? And I'll say it again. If we would practice these things, so many of our problems, relational problems with others, they would go away. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, Father, we're so thankful for this day and all our many blessings. Father, we pray today that you would be with the Perkheiser family, that you'd be with Nell, give her what she needs today, God. Be with Jonathan, be with Jennifer, be with the entire family, Father. Father, we're thankful for our brother Harold, for the example that he was. And we certainly will miss him. But Father, we are so happy for him. Father, uh, be with Alex and, and Kayla today as they give their lives to one another. May you bless them in their marriage. And Father, we're just so thrilled that they found each other and for the love they have for you, for the love they have for one another. Bless them, Father. Father, bless us this day. We ask you to continue to be with our sister Jenny. Give her what she needs, please. And all things your will be done. Jesus, we pray. Yeah.